Matt Bernie, you're taking a look at the seventh race at Santa Anita on Sunday afternoon. Six and a half furlongs on the main track. It's a sprint stakes race. It's a restricted stakes race. The $70,000 sunny slope. Before we dive into the field, I'd encourage you to head on over to DRF Bets. All sorts of great deals over there for new sign-up members specifically. Head on over to bets.drf.com for all the details. Let's take a look at this field. It's a short field, but there's a little bit of ability in here, I think, from these two-year-old horses. We're going to take them right in post position order. The number one is seven cents. Seven cents goes out for Craig Lewis, and if you just look at it strictly from a speed figure standpoint, this horse makes all the sense in the world. 82 most recently in that Barrett's Juvenile that came at Los Alamitos, came at six and a half furlongs. I thought it was a pretty good effort, but I don't think it was an exceptional effort. I have to be honest, I expected a little bit more. Looked like this horse was just going to go and blow the doors off the rest of the field, and unfortunately just kind of couldn't quite get there, couldn't quite get the job done. From a figure standpoint, makes all the sense. You look at it from a pedigree standpoint, and to be honest with you, I understand the Golden Sense babies, they haven't run frequently on turf. I believe at this point they're 3 for 23, but the dam was 5 for 15 on grass. I, I wouldn't be surprised at all. Maybe this is just something you want to file away in, in your horse watch somewhere on DRF.com. Obviously, it's not happening Sunday, but maybe down the road, turf is ultimately where this one will prevail. Seven cents makes plenty of sense in here. Just at a shortish price, don't know that I'm totally convinced. The number two is Shark. Shark goes out for Gary Sherlock. Most recently, we saw this horse at Rotama. That was going five furlongs on the turf. Got the job done there in gate-to-wire fashion. Broke the maiden. We're talking about a totally different ball game here. Going back to the dirt, facing winners, facing good horses that have earned some legitimate speed figures. The three dirt figures to date for this horse, 28, 36, 32, going to need to significantly step this one's game up if Shark is going to be a threat in here. The number three is Sparkyville. Now, Sparkyville, you could make the argument, is the class of the field because you look at the two most recent starts. They both came in graded stakes company. One of them, the grade one Delmar Futurity. One of them, the grade two Best Pal. Happened to run into Instagram two starts back. Who knows what he could end up turning into. And he happened to run into the likely favorite for the Breeders' Cup Juvenile most recently game winner. Uh, look, Sparkyville is an interesting horse. There's no question about it. He is showing up as a first-time gelding, according to the racing form. We'll find out if he has the ability to sit and pass horses. Because when it's all said and done, I don't think he has the speed to make the front. Let's take a look at the Timeform U.S. Pace Projector. And if you just go through and you look and see Sparkyville's only victory to date, three starts back, came in gate-to-wire fashion, they don't have him anywhere r really that close to the front end. They have the five horse out there swinging it on the front end. That's savagery, and I kind of agree. If Sparkyville with the gelding process can prove that he can sit and pounce, all of a sudden he becomes a little bit more interesting going forward. I'd also be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit concerned that through five, four lifetime starts, we've earned a career best buyer of 70 and two other times earned 68s in the most recent run of 61. There's a part of me that wonders, is this horse getting any better? Again, the gelding process can change an animal entirely. Uh, well, obviously it changes an animal, but it can also change the ability level for a horse too. We'll find out if Sparkyville can take a step forward. Number four is Ricky B. Ricky B, you want to talk about a horse that all he does is gone out and just gotten the job done. Doesn't matter where, doesn't matter the surface, doesn't matter the condition. He goes out there and all he does is win, win, win. You see he won on debut in a maiden $32,000 claimer down at Del Mar for trainer Steve Miotti. They went off at 9 to, uh, nine to 1 that day. Got the job done. Goes up to an allowance race, a starter allowance up at Golden Gate on the synthetic at 5.5 furlongs. Gets the job done there and then goes back to the dirt. And a non-winner is the one other than at Fresno and gets the job done again. To be honest with you, as impressive as it is, and it's always uh, difficult to knock a horse that all they do is go out and win. He's perfect 3 for 3. Uh, I think the only reason he won that most recent start, and I don't want to totally take away from the fact that he was game and gutsy and he dug in and wanted to go and win, the horse that he went and ran down, the White Shadow, the White Shadow came to a complete stop, it looked like, basically as they neared the wire. You'll note that this horse, Ricky B, was three lengths behind the White Shadow as they were coming down the stretch. I think it was, it was a combination of two things. It was a bit, of a, a bit of an optical illusion. Ricky B went and got the horse, but also it helped that the White Shadow basically threw up the air brakes and stopped. I think if you had that horse continue on, I'm not totally convinced that Ricky B goes and gets there. And we also have to acknowledge the fact that right now, to date, Ricky B's just a little bit on the slow side. The number five savagery, though, we already showed the pace projector. He is expected to go out there and make the front. If you like this horse, perhaps it's a little bit of a concern. You've got a negative formulator fact here for Peter Miller. Over the past five years, dirt winner last out 61 to 180 days in sprint races, two for 17, seven times in the money with only a 34 cent ROI. I think if you like this horse, you're supposed to just look at that most recent run, and I know they had to drop him in for a tag in a maiden 62-5 down at Del Mar to get the job done, but I think you're just supposed to look at it and say, Joe Talamo, one way to go. Break, 
go to the front and say, come and catch me, because he was visually very impressive that day. I, the first two starts, I don't really know what happened. Maybe it was just simply a matter of him not really getting to the front or an easier lead. I just still think he's the speed of the speed. I think he goes right to the front, and I think he's very, very tough to run down despite that formulator pack. But again, this is a small sample size. Take that with a grain of salt. And the number six is Principe Carlo. This horse most recently ran in the speakeasy. Five furlongs on the turf. Didn't work out. Two starts back. Broke the maiden against Calbreds at Los Alamitos. Look, from a speed figure standpoint, if he runs that 70, he certainly has a chance in here. The problem is, I'm not totally convinced he's going to work out a trip like that. I think he's going to have to sit off of a horse like Savagery, and I'm not totally convinced that he is as effective sitting as he is out there on the lead. So I've kind of tipped my hand a little bit for the featured event out at Santa Anita on Sunday afternoon, race number seven, the restricted sunny slope stakes. Let's take a look at my pick. I am going to go with Savagery. Now, Savagery may not be a sexy pick. He might not be an interesting price, but I think he is the most likely winner if you're playing any sort of multi-race wagers. I think he is one that you could probably lean on. For me, I'm going 5-3-1 in the seventh at Santa Anita on Sunday. If you're playing this stakes race or you're playing any other races at Santa Anita, anywhere, it doesn't matter. Head on over to DRF Bets. All sorts of great deals, especially for new sign-up members. Bets.drf.com is where you can go for all the details. Schedule post time for race number seven at the Great Race Place on Sunday. The $70,000 Sunny Slope, 6.30 Eastern. Good luck.